Hey friends, listen. You hear that dripping? It rained last night. We needed this rain badly. And just look how much prettier everything looks. Oh. All right, this is going to be June week two garden tour. And we will start in the backyard like normal and see what we got. So I've managed to keep the deck clean. I still have quite a few pots to do, but um, we'll get to those. We'll get to those. Here is my station where I have just some random things. They're all extras. I don't need any of them. I might take a better looking tomato and fill it in if I've got a bad tomato. I've got some alyssum left over that I can plant somewhere. But everything is pretty full. And I am getting dripped on just a little bit. But Okay, over here I have got... Whoa, that's too close. Sorry. This is that camille that I'm going to split. You can see I've got some good growth going on this side over here. Ooh, I've even got a butt over here. Can you see that? Yes. Middle of the plant's dead, but I will pull that apart. I also have one down here on the ground that i got to find a home for. These are the little baby tomatoes. These are the ones that only get about 12 to 18 inches high. There is that strawberry gum frina. And this is full of um, basil. I had a Genovese basil in here and oh, some tower asters. They just got planted by seed. Okay, down this big long bed, I have got the salmon genie and the asters, which these are my one of my favorite flowers from last year. Bachelor buttons, random weed, zinnia up on top. These lettuce, they're just huge. And actually the banana peppers on this half are having no problem getting above them. So that's actually pretty good. What I've been doing though is taking lettuce from this side as I harvest because these ones are much smaller. They're doing good. These are the um, nada peños, but I'm slowly pulling all the lettuce out of here on this side. Down the end, I've got some more zinnia. And then I did plant a center cut squash there. Not coming up yet, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and put another one there. There is one up there zinnias there's some sunflower seeds back here really pretty volunteer sunflower and some calendula down the front of this i have got garlic which this front garlic is starting to get ready to harvest it's getting brown on the edges like this i'll let it go a little bit longer let it get some more moisture here and then um i'll probably harvest it usually i harvest it the last weekend in june or beginning in july but it's getting pretty brown already. I don't know if that's because it's been so dry. Maybe I'll test pull one in a week or two. Okay, that's what we'll do. In between here, tons of volunteer calendulas, snapdragons. I planted a bunch of zinnia here. And these tomatoes are looking fantastic. See how big they're getting? We're going to have to come in and get those trained up pretty soon. In the middle where I planted those carrots, nothing. I have now twice failed at planting carrots this year. Look how big this guy is already. He's flopping over. We're gonna have to get in here and get some of this mulch I got here down. Get these tomatoes up on the panel. And uh, yeah, isn't she pretty? All these baskets are kind of filling in with their little herbs. Lemon balm, got some yarrow got some mint back in here these cone flowers this is a zinnia this is a weed I can't pick Ugh, I always want to do that when I'm doing the garden walk I always want to go through and pick all the weeds but then I would be out here for like four hours these peas are starting to flower okay and in this right here I've got a lot of can't weeds and peas and peas and grass but I've got scarlet runner beans but I think they're sunrise runner beans they're a runner bean here and I'm gonna grow them up there those are looking really good the next guy over is the one with the beets in it they are Detroit red and I've got some of them that are looking great and some that aren't coming up at all some that are just starting <laughs> this is a little bit of a hodgepodge mess and then I've got a little bit of marguerite chamomile up here so I've got some holes to plug up here. I'll just do that with some flowers. Maybe some of that are lissom. Down here are the pincushion flower mix that I planted. 
And I got some volunteers over here. This looks like Anna's Hyssop and a Calendula hanging out down there. Another Anna's Hyssop right here. And I did put some Sunset Runner beans down here. Looks like one's coming up that maybe somebody ate. We'll see what happens. There is lemon balm. Taken off really good. Looks like I got a coneflower. Hey ladies. Sorry, I'm getting wet. I'll come back out and visit you in a little bit here. I got <laughs> tons of volunteer things here. Those are probably going to get ripped out. Oregano. This is quite the patch of oregano. I'm pretty proud of that. And some more lemon balm. Well, hello, baby chamomile. As far as here in the back, all of the kale looks fantastic. I got a volunteer sunflower. This mustard is starting to go to seed. Dang it. And down here, it looks like I've got one little bean that took back here. I'm going to have to work on this. This may be a project for me. We'll have to see. Hello, compass pile. Go over here in this corner. I do have those nasturtium. They're looking fantastic. This one and this one are the volunteers. They just came back. And then these ones are the ones I planted from seed this year. This is a center cut squash. And then back here, this is the 16 foot bed. There's those beans I planted in the back. I'm not seeing any other seeds right here germinating quite yet. That's that parsley. Soon, soon, soon. Here are all the big heirloom tomatoes. And they're kind of going to look like this when they're done. Look, I'm going to go ahead and prune all the bottom leaves off them. But they are all getting nice and big and tall. This is going to be Dara. Oh, it's going to be so lovely. I'm so glad I left it in the middle here. All the lettuce looks really good. This rain is going to be so good. After this weekend, these things are just going to grow like crazy. I've got seeds in here. Oh, look, i got a couple popping up. They're a radish. I think they're the breakfast, French breakfast radish. Oh, that's cool. Over here in the corner, look at all the babies. Oh, the baby melons are up. Those cosmos are getting huge. <gasps> look at these cosmos. So many buds. This is the rubinata. I love it. Look at this beautiful weed that I'm harboring. And this is the definium that I thought was dead that came back. Best two dollars I ever spent right there. Isn't this the most lush thing you've ever seen? Ugh. Remember when I told you I was gonna put all those seeds in a strip of dirt and how terrible it looked? Look at it filling in. Now give it another two or three weeks. It's gonna be full of calendula flowers. It's gonna be just just magical. Up here, these are all alpine strawberries on the edges. The strawberries inside are full-size strawberries. Look at these celery. Oh, they're fantastic. They're a good foot high now. They are gorgeous. We've got all these guys here. Look at. Oh, nothing there. But look at this one. And I thought these were cauliflower. They're a purple broccoli. I think I got my tags mixed up or things moved on me. We pulled one and ate one. So I'm going to get one more. Maybe a couple more. Some cabbages down here. They're looking good. Those are Brussels sprouts back in the back. And then I did plant sunflower seeds over here that I have yet to see sprout. They're these ice cream sunflower. Kind of bummed about that. Maybe something ate them. And then I also did put scarlet runner beans all along the edge, but those are not up yet either. Here on this side, I planted some zinnias in these buckets with some herbs. The French rosemary is going to be okay. It's not really growing, but it's not dying. On the other hand, the tarragon is a goner. She didn't quite make it. Over here, got some calendula. These flower, these sunflowers, look how big these are. These are total volunteers. I did not plant them. Look how thick these stems are. Isn't that crazy? I love it. Here's all the ranunculus. I came through yesterday and cut all the ones that were open and put them in a vase in my house, actually. I'll put a picture of that in here. Just knew we were supposed to get a lot of bad weather this weekend and I didn't want to lose them. 
That is one tomato plant. Oh, you're gonna be beautiful. It's a Dr. White cheese. And then back here, I also had a melon. These are the Kajari melons, but I do not see any germinating yet. Walking down the driveway. These are those poppies that still have not poppied out yet. I guess I don't really know when they're going to... Oh, look at Yeah, they are. See, I just answered my own question. They're going to make flowers soon. Back here, I've got a really big cherry tomato. All these peas. Look at how good these peas look. Ooh, I'm going to pick these peas and let Ava have them for lunch. How exciting is that? And tons more flowers. This rain, they're going to be fantastic. Say hello to the internet, my friend. Hi. <laughs> Mason's out practicing his pitching. In the rain, I might add. We're a bunch of loons, aren't we, Mason? Playing in the garden in the rain. This is my kohlrabi. I got one, two, three over here. It's a little baby orange tomato I'm trying to get to take there. Got one more cherry tomato back here. And then, I don't know what this flower is. Guess we'll find out when she opens, but this is a white night sunflower I planted. I actually got that one to germinate. I'm going to pitch these baskets after next year or after this year. They're just not big enough to sustain the growth of these geraniums the way I want. I'll get out here after this rain and maybe I'll give these guys some fertilizer. Here's all that spinach. And if you can look real close, it's all going to seed. All of it's starting to get these little heads. Those are all little seed heads. I'll rip this out. Probably not today because we've got some stuff going on today. Maybe tomorrow and just feed it all to the chickens. In the back row, that's where I planted all that nasturtium. And I'll have to think about what I'm going to replace this with. Maybe lettuce because this gets a fair amount of shade. These just always look lovely. <gasps> Same thing over here. A couple kohlrabi in the middle. I put this cabbage in here yesterday. I've got a couple cherry tomatoes in the back. And then I do have a white night sunflower coming up here. <gasps> and over here. That's going to be beautiful. And this bucket over here, look at this cosmos. I think those are the seashell cosmos. And then these are the cherry chocolate sunflowers. And these are all just random strawberries my sister gave me. This is... Um, the violet aster and these dianthus look at it doesn't matter what the weather is doing they don't even care they're just gorgeous and I still think I planted some seed here but I still can't remember what it is in the front on these buckets the begonias whoops that's a little close the begonias are doing really well and these are my um, hydrangeas garlic kale and these nasturtiums so that will take up this whole entire pot these listen down here are struggling a bit but I have extra in the back so I can go ahead and put some more put that guy in here um, put some more out if I need to same thing over here these ones are doing a little bit better they don't get as much direct sunlight we'll see I'll give them a little bit longer and then I might give them some extra help these are gonna look so beautiful love it over here, here's a, a stilby. She looks really good today. Yesterday, her leaves got a little curled. It was 82 degrees out. She was a little warm, I think. But overall, I think she's going to do okay. I also have these cone flowers that I didn't plant growing in here. Now, this is the thing that I'm going to go ahead and redo and make like a, I don't know, some kind of different lower wider flower bed around here but that is not yet ready to go porch i've got tomato plants up here still for sale got some lettuce i've got a pack of tires <laughs> we're getting uh new tires on my van this week uh-oh here comes somebody to tattle <gasps> all right i'll talk to her give me one second these planters are doing okay this one looks rough, but this one next to it looks really good. So I'm just hoping it'll bounce back. And then I've got the ferns up here. And then these little side baskets. It's like a maze getting through here. The kids are playing. Ooh, that looks good. 
Okay, I'm hiding on my porch. <laughs> the rain has picked up just a little bit. I'm giving it a minute. It is supposed to be kind of drizzly today. I'm very happy for the rain. But I wish I could get out a little bit more. <laughs> I'm a little antsy. But the garden looks fantastic. After getting a night full of rain, the earth just soaks up all that rain. And rain waters better than my hose or my rain barrels even. Just a good rain just does more for your plants than anything else. So I'm going to hang out here for a couple minutes. And then we will continue on down the side of the yard. Okay, in front of the porch here, I have seeds. And I am really not seeing them coming up. I'm a little frustrated. I've never had any problems germinating cucumbers before or beans. And I'm really not seeing much. So I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to let it be because my sister does have some cucumber plants in her garage I can have if I want. And I guess we'll see how that goes. The clematis, on the other hand, is looking so lovely. I don't know if you can see them or not, but she's starting to bud out. Pretty soon we're going to have flowers. Oh, she's beautiful. I can't even tell you how small she was when I first got her. It's one of the things where you invest in the future. She looked like nothing for two years, and now she's a monstrous, beautiful beast. I love her. Over here, this kale is actually really, really happy here. Remember that for next year. The salvia is taking off a little bit. The peony is just happy not to have been mowed over. I know it's not going to bloom for a couple years probably now, but at least it's not dead. These uh, salvias seem to be doing okay here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not super impressed still. They're alive, but this rain will be really, really good for the aphid problem I'm having. And actually, I'm really not noticing a lot of live aphid damage. It looks like I've got some. That one looks pretty rough. But for the most, I wonder if those are mostly dead that I killed when I, I've been jet spraying the crap out of this thing. You're looking good, honey, Sucko. You're looking good. Down over here, the other peony is looking okay. This is the salvia that I got planted that's going to bloom. She's pretty. And then there's those other salvia. See, these ones just look so spindly. I don't know if I'll buy them anymore like that. I like them better being nice and full like this one. Even though that one's smaller, it looks better. There's a little chamomile plant. Okay, this is so pretty to me right now. Maybe not this corner right here in particular, but... This Cosmo is way bigger than I thought it was. The front might be not be the best placement for that. I didn't realize this was going to be so short. So this looks a little disjointed, but it's going to be okay. Let's go back in here. I have to be a little more careful where I walk because it's wet. I went ahead and put a little layer of mulch over here. I'm really hoping that retains some moisture so I can get some cucumbers and beans up over here. This weather is just not conducive for these plants, which I don't understand. I don't understand. Let's just hope it resolves itself and that with this moisture from the weekend, I get something going on. Bunch of calendula. The yarrow is flowering. She pretty. And then down here, I added, this is a, um, a perennial poppy, an oriental poppy. I probably won't get a flower out of that this year, but for next year it'll be good. And then I got these little guys tucked in here with the chicks and hens. This random weed. Ugh. Looks like there's some snapdragons and these are little baby um, Coryopsis. I think they're the incredible swirls. Look at it. And then I had one other kind here that is older and more established. It's actually coming out into the sidewalk. And look at all the buds on that. That's going to be fantastic. Ooh, this chicken hen is going to bloom. And did you know that did that? Listen, I did not. This was new to me last year. Chicks and hens make all their babies, and then the mother flowers and dies. So 
this is going to be beautiful, but it also means it's the end of her life cycle. She'll be done. But she gave birth to all these beautiful babies. It's quite the process. It takes a while, but it'll be worth watching. Snapdragons. The sedum is starting to bloom. The pollinators love all these little blooms on here. Back here, I have got something. Oh, that's Woodruff sneaking in. There's my kale. Ugh. The water bubble in the kale. I'm going to have to take some pictures after I'm done. Love it. That's another one of my asters I pot, put it here. And it looks like I have got columbine growing. But I don't remember putting it back here, but I must have. Some dianthus trying to struggle right there. This view is just gorgeous. Ugh. I'm fading out with the irises, but very shortly all the flocks next to them around the bird bath will be ready to go. This sage has never bloomed so beautiful. It's never bloomed. And this year for it to be like this just makes my heart so happy. Some stevia. I've got this chives finishing up. And behind it, that is lavender, which is getting ready to bloom. Got some Cosmo seeds back there. I don't really see them coming out, but it's okay because I have the rose bush. Everything else over here could not work, and this rose bush would work, and I would be so happy. Feels like Busha is still here, hanging out. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Tell me to drink a Jack and Coke. I love it. I love it so much. Right in front of that, those are daisies. Those are all going to open up relatively soon. They all got buds on them. Basket trio, bucket trio. What are we going to call them? The bucket trio. I have got a dahlia, some cosmos, and a whole bunch of bouquet dill, along with the salvia that I grew from seed. There's lemon balm right there because it shows up everywhere. Here I have got columbine. And it has just exploded. Look at all the baby at Columbine coming up. I'm really excited about this. It's doing so well. This is called Rocky Mountain Blue. And this one's called Giant McKenna. And then I put a couple nasturtium over there to kind of flop out this edge. And a pretty Cosmo in the back, which has a little bloom on it. The back bucket, I've got two dahlias. Those are blazing saddle dahlias. And then the rest of this is all butterfly milkweed, which I'm hoping makes a really big, beautiful beacon right there telling all the monarch butterflies to come to it. Okay, there is literally nothing more beautiful in the garden than raindrops on lupins. Isn't it pretty? First, here's the actual lupin. She gorgeous but I just love looking at the way that water drops live on these lupin leaves. Ugh. How long should I stand here and let you guys watch this for? It's beautiful. Look at this one. I need to take some pictures. Oh, so pretty. I'll put the pictures at the end of this video. Got a snapdragon right here. That's called Cherry Twist. I planted some purple ruffled basil seeds here. And this fever few, it looks like it's about to explode. Look at all of these buds. I'm really geeked up about this. Next to it, I planted some Figaro daisy or Figaro dahlias. I've got the two sunflowers back here. This is that new blue daisy that's a perennial. It'll probably be not too much to look at this year. And then I've got a cabbage and some kale and a giant mound of oregano. I could almost hide one of my children in this oregano mound. It's insane. Back behind the bushes, I've got my trio of buckets. I've got Granny, Granny Cantrell beans in there. They have not sprouted yet. And then up in here, hang on, let me climb. I have got more dahlias. These are the Dandy Improved. This one doesn't look very good, but the others all look like they're doing real well. And I've got some flower pots back there. Behind them is a row of sunflowers. I got sunflowers in that pot right there too. It's too soon for them to be popped up. And then back here, same thing. I've got, I don't have any sunflowers back here. I should put some sunflowers. I've got nasturtium here and climbing beans and runner beans to climb this up. There's the tithonia. And let me tell you, that will get huge. And then right here is the clematis. This one is looking a little rough. I'm not sure why. 
I have to come clean her out a little bit. Some flax back in here. This is another one of those Dara. Wait till you see these Dara bloom. If you've never seen Dara bloom, it's just so pretty. I've got some snapdragon seeds in here and this little begonia. And then up in the front, ooh, look. Are you gonna flower for me already? That's a cone flower. And some volunteer snapdragons. Those Figaro dahlias, more volunteer snapdragons there. Look, this, all of this, it's all growing from this crack in the cement. Mother Nature is so awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The alyssum I planted in here in these cracks doesn't look fantastic, but it's not dead. I'm really hoping that it makes it. We'll see. This looks better. I got this kind of tucked in the cracks. And then down here, <laughs> these are getting really, really tall. I don't know if my cone flow ever gotten this tall. Like this is almost to my shoulder. That's beautiful. So this is all coneflower with the Brussels sprouts mingled in and I planted extra sunflower seeds. Oh, look at the water drops. They're just so pretty. I love them. I got sunflowers coming up all in here. Oh, this guy looks fantastic. Hi, if anybody's gonna work, it's gonna be you. Now it's got bug damage. Things are eating it, but I don't even care. Here are the sidewalk crack sunflowers. But so far I have not had the heart to kill. Again, all the cone flowers and sunflowers. Here's some zinnias coming up in the bottom. Here's the big bare empty space where nothing grows. But I did replant a whole bunch of seeds in here, so hopefully we'll get something in there. Zinnias, sunflowers, zinnias, sunflowers coneflower growing out of the crack. More zinnias and sunflowers and zinnias. Kohlrabi growing in the crack. Brussels sprout. Plant of which I still do not know the name. I don't know. I can't I cannot remember. Last but definitely not least is the garden which looks like a garden again. It makes me super happy. Let's start over here. This is all the cold hardy stuff on this little edge. Mustard has bolted, but I have more underneath it. Got some volunteer sunflowers, kales on this end. This looks like it's that um, premier kale, which I'm really happy with. Looks like I got a couple cabbages. I think this is probably one of those broccoli. This one too. It's got a purpley tint in the middle kales and cabbages, random things my sister gave me that we don't know. And then if we go around the back row here, I've got volunteer sunflowers. They're about as high as my knee. All the onions look really good. So I've got a whole row of onions. And then I've got some cabbages. You can kind of see, I don't know, maybe about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them maybe in this row. And then I'm gonna have my swatch of beans right here and they are starting to come up. Hello, baby bean. Hello, baby bean. These ones are dragon tongue and yellow beans, I believe. I don't really remember. Yes, 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 they are, yes, they are. And then here, look at another rebel growing outside the cup. This guy is a ortolana squash. <gasps> this one's going in the cup. Good for you, that's a cocazelle in the cup two of them those are honey nut and the one outside still and that's a honey nut here let me give you a little bit of room buddy and in the middle i've got a rainbow chard and all the zinnias i planted yesterday i didn't plant anything in here yet i'm kind of waiting we'll go on the other side of the middle we have the same pattern beans you can see they're all coming up this rain's gonna help them a lot. I'm glad my bush beans at least work. Jeez. More zinnia on this side. And then look over here. I don't know from whence this one came, but I'm gonna assume it's a spaghetti squash that got slid along from the rain. There's another spaghetti squash. 
Oh, two. That's a slick pick squash. And two in here. And those are Nimba squash. Nice. Then we reach the end over here. This edge is all the garlic. And in the middle of the garlic, I did plant watermelon seeds. And I have not been able to see one coming up yet. I did put a good deal of mulch here. So maybe they're just still fighting through. I also have a patch of dill right here. And I planted some zinnia seeds in the corners. And the last part of the garden is down the front. Here's all the peppers and calendula in the front. Oh yeah, I also planted nasturtium seeds in the back, but they're not up yet. Calendula in the front, nasturtium in the back. But these peppers are all looking really good. I have a couple spots where they're missing. Right there's one, let's count as we go. Those look good, you look good. Skipping over the onions. These are ornamental onions. The aliens um, are a favorite of bumblebees. Back over here, some Zulu peppers, a Tuda, there's a random banana pepper. This is probably just a carrot. We'll leave it alone for a while. A gypsy pepper, that one's pretty tall, that looks good. And it looks like I'm missing a couple right here. I'm gonna say two, three, I can probably put three more peppers out here. There's one, here's one. This little dude looks like he's struggling hard. I'm gonna replace him, that's four. They're good. Here's one of the chard that overwintered. A couple more. They're looking good. Here is the, another alien. This one is younger than the one over there. It's already started to make its little buds. And here is the volunteer potato plant, of which I did not plant. And I didn't plant potatoes last year, but something underneath there is making potatoes. So we'll let you go. Couple more peppers, one, two, three, four. Looks like I'm missing one back there. So that's five I'm missing. So in the back I had those extra plants. I'll go ahead and add in those spots the extra pepper plants I have here. Isn't she lovely? Ugh, I love her so much. Okay, I'm a little damp now. <laughs> it's still drizzling out, but I couldn't complain because the garden is loving it. I hope you enjoyed the full garden tour here at the Polish Potager. Um, and always, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.